What's up guys? Today we are going to test a new projector called Zimmer D1 Pro. You may have already seen videos about it on YouTube, but I have an improved version with Android operating system, 1 gig of RAM and 16 gigs of storage, Full HD native resolution, 380 NC brightness and other features. You know the price of the upgraded model is only $20 more, but is it really better? Let's find out. The package contents are pretty standard for a budget projector, which includes a projector itself, HDMI cable, power cable and power adapter, remote control, and user manual. There is also a qualified certificate in the box, so you can see the production date of your sample. When it comes to design, Zimmer D1 Pro looks very stylish. I have a black version, but it is also available in white. If you ask me, the projector looks better in black. I like a combination of glossy side faces and a matte top panel. It looks like the projector is made of two pieces. That's probably true, but you cannot disassemble it because the body has a closed design. It is properly called a closed optical machine. The advantage of the closed optical machine over the open optical machine is that it is difficult for dust to get inside the body, so a service life of projector will be longer. Zimmer D1 Pro is a compact projector, but it is not portable because it doesn't have a built-in battery. The dimensions are 185 by 110 by 125 mm. You know the projector is quite heavy, 12, 10 grams. I think the reason for this is quality materials. The front and sides are covered with 98% of aviation-grade aluminium magnesium metal. The honeycomb mesh structure is used for effective cooling. We will check this later. There is a lens on the front of projector. On the back we can see DC power port, HDMI port, USB port and infrared receiver. The speaker grills are on the left and right sides. A little later we will check the sound quality of the built-in speakers. On the top panel you will find a manual focus wheel and attach power on off button. By the way, you can install a projector on a tripod because there is a 1 quarter inch screw hole at the bottom. There are also rubberized feet to prevent the projector from sliding on the table. So Zimmer D1 Pro looks very good for its price, but I really want to turn it on and look at the user interface, because this is an upgrade version of projector with Android operating system. So we can go to the settings to see that projector runs on Android 9 OS. By the way, Zimmer D1 Pro also has 1 gig of RAM and 16 gigs of storage. In the file manager, there is an external device and internal storage. We can find different folders on the internal memory, such as alarms, Android, download, movies, etc. But most of them are empty. Let's take a look at the main screen of projector, and then we will go back to the settings. As you can see, this is not stock Android TV, but there are many pre-installed apps. First, you can go to the search menu and look for the app. On the homepage, there are previews from Netflix and other streaming services, as well as quick access to the latest apps. You can also go to the apps menu, video, music and settings. Zimmer D1 Pro has some pre-installed apps, such as App Store, File Manager, Netflix, Office Suite, Prime Video, YouTube and others. It seems Netflix and Prime Video are working fine. If you could not find the app you want, open the App Store and look for it there. And even if it is not there, you can always install the APK file via USB flash drive. In the settings menu, we can go to the settings themselves, as well as choose source, USB and other options. So on the new Zimmer projector, we have Wi-Fi settings, Bluetooth settings, projector settings, language, Date Application System Update And other settings You know the interface is very fast and smooth. I am really surprised by it from my budget projector. I would recommend buying the Android version of Zimmer D1 Pro because you don't need to connect an external TV box and other devices. Now I want to check the screen mirroring on this projector. You can use the iOS cast for connection to iOS device via Wi-Fi and mirror cast for Android devices. First, make sure that the projector is connected to your home Wi-Fi network. Now open iOS cast or mirror cast on the projector and go to the screen mirroring on your smartphone. Select a projector and you're done.
Another feature of Zimmer D1 Pro is a Bluetooth mode. You can use a projector as a Bluetooth speaker for your smartphone. For that, open the app called Bluetooth Speaker and then select a projector in the Bluetooth settings of your smartphone. By the way, Zimmer D1 Pro has a very good dual 3 watts speakers. I think it has the best sound quality among projectors under $200. Take a listen to this. I already told you about the honeycomb mesh structure for the effective cooling, but we also need to check the noise level. In addition to the quality speaker, Zimmer D1 Pro is one of the quietest projectors. It is only 42 dB near projector. and about 35 dB at a distance of 1 meter. The projector is almost noise-free. And now we can talk about projection quality. Zimmer D1 Pro has a Full HD native resolution. The image is very clear. You can see on these pictures that the lines are clear all over the screen. Unlike other budget projectors, Zimmer D1 Pro doesn't blur corners. I placed the projector 2 meters away from the wall, and my screen size is about 80 inches. I don't know the contrast ratio, but the colors are very good. Guaranteed rate PBA Tour event, and he's looking to do it here in a major championship, the USBC Masters. Can this teenager really take down some? Hazard, what sort of attempt at a tackle was that from Ibrahimovic? Hazard, a crawl. Last week, the defending champion Spain won the Masters title with a stunning win over Nova LP8 Pro looks the most fantastic. They have a transparent charging case, and we can e In this video, I want to tell you about Rockbeat Tank S2. The price of this smartwatch is about $50, but it has many features. yourself into the space in front of your lifeless body. Most of us are taking fewer steps than our ancestors did, and for a myriad of reasons. Motorized electric shoe.
You know the seller on AliExpress says that my version of Projecta has 380 ANC brightness, while the official store reports about 260 ANC. Unfortunately, I cannot measure the brightness, because I don't have a lux meter. However, the brightness is enough for watching movies in a dark room. If we would talk about the light room, you can still see the projection, but not as well as with the light off. Virgin Codex at Magnus under the earbuds. At the bottom of the case, we can also see the battery. You know, it is really small for such a big charge. In my opinion, the Android operating system makes this projector much better. Yes, it is not stock Android TV and the projector has only 1 gig of RAM, but the interface is still fast and smooth. I like the ability to install additional applications through the App on Store or even a USB flash drive. Zimmer D1 Pro also has a good built-in speakers, so you don't need to connect external ones. You can even use a projector as a Bluetooth speaker for your smartphone. Unlike other budget projectors, Zimmer D1 Pro has a clearer image without blurred edges and corners. The projection quality is really good. You know I have tested many projectors on our channel Tech Brothers, and most of them are budget under $200. However, I will remember Zimmer D1 Pro for a long time. It has a good combination of image quality, speaker, noise level, smart functions, and price. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon!